As Israel lobbies Western powers against making a poor nuclear deal with Iran, Jerusalem is directly laying blame for the situation on America, revealed Israeli officials over the weekend. One Israeli official insisted that the Americans are giving up all of their pressure points and the Iranians recognize the Americans' weakness. Israel is increasingly concerned that the U.S. and other Western powers are about to sign a deal to remove sanctions from Iran while failing to require the Islamic Republic to actually dismantle its ability to build nuclear weapons in the future. According to another Israeli expert, Kerry and his boss, President Barack Obama, are anxious to sign a bad deal because they're worried the only alternative left without a deal would be a military strike. It's not just that the West risks upsetting Israel by signing a poor nuclear deal with Iran, warned a French lawmaker over the weekend, insisting that Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu will follow through on his threat to attack the Islamic Republic. French parliamentarian Mayor Habib reportedly phoned his nation's foreign minister as the latter was taking part in talks between Iran and Western powers in Geneva. Habib's message was clear, I know Netanyahu. If you don't toughen your position, he will attack Iran. It was shortly after that reported phone call that France is said to have thrown a wrench in the negotiations. Talks stalled on Sunday with both sides agreeing to meet again later in the month. Israel on Monday dispatched several rescue and humanitarian aid teams to the Philippines where an estimated 10,000 were killed when the country was devastated by a super typhoon over the weekend. Independent humanitarian organization ISRA Aid and Israel's Ministry of Foreign Affairs have both sent advanced teams of medical and rescue experts to assess the situation and provide initial medical intervention. Larger Israeli missions will follow in the coming days and weeks.